welcome you back to my channel. I just wanted to start this video quickly by saying I hope you're all well, staying safe and staying positive. I'm sending lots of love to all of you right now. I hope you enjoy this video. I have lots of other content planned uh, that will be going out in the next few weeks of things that I'm doing to keep myself busy during this time. Uh, so I hope it, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it can maybe be a bit of an inspiration for you guys to keep yourselves busy. I would also love to hear what you guys are up to keeping yourselves active and busy. Uh, so pop those in the comments down below because I am looking for inspiration. So with that all being said, sending you all lots of love and I hope you enjoy this video. Good morning everyone. So you just saw me put a face mask on. I didn't show you while I was what I was doing while I had the face mask on, but I have actually just made a butternut squash soup. I'm not gonna show you the soup because I'm actually planning to do a cooking with me what I eat in a day vlog very soon and I'm hopefully gonna feature that soup. So I don't wanna show you it just yet. Um, but that's what I was doing while my face mask was on and I got up early this morning to put the soup on. So I'm gonna have that for lunch today. Uh, but it's pretty early right now. It looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day. So I'm now gonna jump in the shower. I like to get myself ready because um, I feel like I'm being productive and it also just makes me feel happier and better when I'm getting myself ready. I don't know. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I certainly do. Um, by the way, in this video, I've been reading your comments. I really appreciate them and love them. So thank you for all the feedback. I am looking into this camera as much as I can if I remember in this video. <laughs> all of you were saying you need to look into the camera, so I'm gonna try my best. But anyway, with that being said, I'm now gonna go get in the shower, get myself ready for the day, and I'll be back with you shortly. Hello again, everyone. <laughs> so it's now about 10 a.m. and I've had my shower. Uh, got ready, made myself feel all fresh. Um, and I've just finished my soup, which has turned out really nice, but I think I added too many chili flakes. It's a bit hot, I don't mind it, but my mum's like, oh. <laughs> um, But yeah, so I finished the soup, so that'll be ready for lunch. Uh, and I'm gonna take Lola out in the afternoon, I think. Um, it is such a lovely day today. So I'm gonna bring you along for the walk, show you some of the sights. <laughs> Not that it's too exciting, it's just countryside, but you know, still pretty, especially with weather like this. Um, but yeah, I'm just now relaxing. I'm reading my book, which I'm going to show you in a little while um, what books I'm reading at the moment. Uh, and I'm just enjoying the sunshine this morning. So I'll be in touch with you when I take Lola out, I would imagine. I don't know whether I'm going to do that before lunch or after, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so I am now uh, 10 minutes into the walk and then you get into this very muddy field. A lot of the time it has really nice um, greenery, but it's very muddy at the moment, but it's a really pretty view. The day, as I keep saying, is just incredibly sunny today. It's so beautiful. I need to keep checking on her. Lola, come on. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a really beautiful walk. So you walk 10 minutes from my house and you get to this field and you walk through it and then you go through some woodland areas and you're in the next village and then you kind of do a circle around the next village and then walk down the main street and you're back to my house. So it's a good hour, hour and a bit walk. Um, I try and switch it up, but I've been doing this pretty much every day just because it is an hour and I don't wanna go any longer than that, obviously because we're only allowed out for an hour throughout the day. Um, so it's a really nice walk and she gets to be off the lead, as you can see. She's not very obedient off the lead, but she, she gets to go off the lead. <laughs> um, so I'll show you a few little sights. I mean, there's really not much to see. It's just really pretty countryside. Um, but I've picked a good day to film this video because the weather is so amazing. As I keep saying, like drink every time I mention the weather maybe. Uh, <laughs> so yes, I shall show you around. <laughs> maybe I'd be better off. Maybe I'd be better off. Maybe I'd be better off. Let's 
try that again. So I was sitting outside enjoying a oh, gin and tonic. Um, however, as you saw, my dad is chainsawing something, a tree, I think, that has fallen down. So, <laughs> bad timing, but it's about 5.30 now, so I've poured my first gin and tonic to enjoy this sunshine, so I'm going straight back outside after I film this. <laughs> uh, but just to let you know, after I left you um, on, on the dog walk, I got back and I've been rehearsing a few songs that I've got um, to film for covers, which is all very exciting. So I, I went through those today, so I've been singing kind of all afternoon. <laughs> Um, and yeah, now I'm, I'm making dinner tonight, I'm going to be making carbonara, which I'm sure you're all like, yawn, that's an easy thing to do. However, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm so sorry. <laughs> However, um, it's actually, I find, I've had so many rubbish carbonaras, and I feel like it's very simple, but it's hard to get it right. And I personally, not to toot my own horn, but... <laughs> I think I make a really good carbonara, so my family also agree. So um, yeah, I'm making carbonara tonight, so that's really, really simple. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of how I do that, but it's pretty, pretty easy, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, and then tonight I'm just going to be watching probably a movie or something with my dad. My mum goes off and reads her Kindle. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to be having a bath and having an early night tonight. And I'll have a few more of these, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been such a lovely day. Again, take a drink if I say weather, here we go. The weather has been beautiful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just been a really nice day today, but this is kind of how, how I spend my days. Oh, also, I know what I want to show you. This is the book that I was reading. Um, well, this wasn't the one I was reading earlier. <laughs> But this is the book I have been reading, but I finished it now, The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I picked this up in Berlin, um, which you would have seen the vlog by now, hopefully. Uh, and if you haven't, then um, do check out my vlog of Spend the Week with Me and Come to Berlin with me. Um, but this is a book that I picked up in Berlin and I was literally not able to put it down. It was so good. So if you're looking for a good read during this isolation period, I would highly recommend this, it was amazing. But what I'm reading now, I can't show you because it actually, um, thinking about it, I was about to go grab it. It's uh, got a swear word in it. And I, you know, don't wanna be swearing on YouTube. So the name of the book is The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving A, and then I'll let you um, figure out the rest. Uh, but it's a really good book and uh, I got it ages ago read half of it and then I just couldn't continue with it, but now I've got plenty of time. So I was reading that this morning uh, on the patio. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you that's kind of, I've, I've got back into reading. I've never been a big reader. You also saw that I was reading Vogue this morning with my coffee. <laughs> I've always been a Vogue kind of gal more than a book <laughs> kind of gal, but <laughs> I am trying to get back in into books because I just think it keeps the mind active reading and instead of constantly being on the phone all the time. So yeah, this is an amazing book and also the other the other book, The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving A. I'm sure you know it, you would have heard of it. It was a huge book and it's very motivational and um, yeah, I really like it. So they're the two books that I'm reading, but I'm going to go back on the patio, get the last bit of the sun with my gin and tonic, and then I'll show you how I make my carbonara. In here, my sauce, it looks a bit gross, but I promise you it's very, very nice. So I've used three eggs, uh, loads and loads of Parmesan cheese, lots of pepper and a little bit of salt. And that's it for the sauce. And then I've got the prosciutto under the grill, um, grilling away so it's all crispy and I'll mix that in with the sauce. Then I'll have the spaghetti on in a second, the water's just boiling. Um, and then I put the prosciutto in with the sauce and then when the water, when the spaghetti is cooked, I then drain the drain the spaghetti, but keep a little bit of hot water still in the the pan or the bowl or whatever I'm using. Not bowl, but you know what I mean, pot. <laughs> uh, and then I put this the dry spaghetti back in, and I put the sauce over it. So I don't cook the sauce at all. I just put it with the spaghetti, and I just think it's 
much nicer that way because then it doesn't scramble with all the eggs in there um, but you have to be really quick with it so it doesn't get cold um, so that is it so in about 15 minutes this will all be done 20 minutes and we'll be eating carbonara so I'll show you the finished good evening everyone I'm so sorry about the light right now by the way it's about 10 30 uh, and I my bath is running in the bathroom over there <laughs> uh, so the day is over now the dinner turned out nice and we kind of sat and drank wine and watched um watched a movie I've actually watched Beyonce Homecoming the Netflix um performance of her at Coachella and this is probably the hundredth time I've watched it. <laughs> and then afterwards I watched the Lady Gaga um, documentary, uh, Gaga Five Foot Two, <clears throat> also on Netflix. I just felt like it's been a while since I've performed and I feel like it's gonna be a little while longer till I can again. So I always just need a bit of inspiration and that always picks me up watching. I have like loads of DVDs of Beyonce's shows and Gaga shows, so. I like to watch them from time to time just to get some inspiration. But I've had a quick changeover now. I've been in my pajamas and comfy clothes. Uh, so the bath is running now and this is how I typically finish my evenings. I just really like getting into bed at night, feeling really clean um, and smelling nice. Even though it's just me in the bed and Lola, of course, my dog. <laughs> I just like feeling clean and it helps me go to sleep. And I just feel like it's such a nice way to end the day. Um, but I am not going to ramble for any longer because I have had a few gins. So <laughs> if you have any tips on how to keep myself busy, then do let me know. As I said earlier in this vlog, I am planning to do a cooking with me or what I eat in a day video. So if you want to see that, please do let me know. Uh, I have more covers coming and I also have more videos coming. I have quite a special video going up very soon. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say any more about that video. It will be going up very, very soon. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all well and I'm sending all my love to all of you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you in the next video. Lots of love. Mwah.